All righty then. Okay. Look at this. I'm so excited. I am so excited. I've been trying to figure out how to do this all day long. <laughs> okay. So we're on Facebook and we're on Periscope at the same time. <laughs> do you love doing things differently? Do you love doing things differently? Okay, so I'm a little shaky here because I'm trying to figure out how to hold it and do it all at the same time. This is pretty cool. I'm going to turn it around in a second because this time, because I've been thinking about this all day, I got some great notes. I mean, some good good note so you might want to have your pen and paper ready you just might want to have your pen and paper ready okay so i see you i see you delaware orlando kansas i see you facebook i love the hearts on the facebook <laughs> i know tony i know i know i know i know i know crazy oh my god i'm so excited sacramento where else? Baltimore, South Carolina, Austin, Texas. I'm excited to be coming to Austin in October. Yes, I'm excited. Winston-Salem, I'm excited. I'm excited. I know, great use of technology. Thank you for your daily motivation. That's excellent. I'm very excited. Thank you so much. Yeah, you know, it's interesting, this technology, where you read, you talk, you prepare. I just really want to give everybody a chance to glean from experience. I glean from your experiences. You glean from my experiences. And today, yeah. Okay, so isn't this interesting how this works? Okay, so <laughs> Miami, Chicago. Oh God, that's so good. That's so good. Yes, I love it. Pe Brazil. Hey, Brazil. Very exciting. Very exciting. You guys do know how to share this, right? If you're on Periscope, you do something to the screen left, right, something, share it with all your Twitter followers. Let me tell you what I'm excited about as I'm watching this. I am watching more and more people finding out the use of technology. Some of you are getting exposed to technology that you would not have gotten before. I'm going to turn this around now. Hi. <laughs> this is pretty cool. You're using this technology to change your lives. You're using this technology to share with others. And I'm very excited about that. Very excited. I've been thinking about this topic, you guys, for a bit. I mean, who is sick and tired of being sick and tired? Are you sick and tired of being sick and tired? Because when you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, that is when you can make a shift. And, you know, one of the things I know is that we're not just affecting ourselves. I like to look up like this. We're affecting the people that are around us. I was talking to someone who works for me today and she was having a hard time. Her car has been, you know, it's been issues. Okay, it's issues. And so she's calling me and she said, this is awful, this is awful, this is awful. And then she's talking a little bit more about something else and she kept saying, this is awful, this is awful, this is awful. And I kept saying to her, there's nothing you can do about it now. Seriously, there's nothing you can do about it now. So, since you being a Debbie Downer is not a gift to other people, don't be a Debbie Downer. I don't want to carry your luggage. You don't even want to carry your luggage. Your brother doesn't want to carry your luggage. Nobody wants to carry your luggage. The situation is as it is. You've done absolutely everything you possibly can. There's nothing else that you can do to fix the situation. Nothing. So do your best. I said instead of talking about how awful this is over and over again, how about using the time wisely? Since you don't have the use of your car and you haven't had it for like two or three days, you got a lot you got to get done once you get the car back. So this is the time for you to plan, to make lists, to recognize that your, uh oh, that your attitude is not good. Uh oh, I don't know what happened here. Reconnecting. It's reconnecting. Recognizing that your attitude is not good. Periscopers, can you hold on one second? I'm not quite sure why. Oh, there it is. 
Okay, let's see. I don't know what that stands for. Hold on. Hold on, Periscopers. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Don't move. It's coming back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I don't know what happened. You guys, this technology, we're going to get it down pack. We're going to get it down pack. We're going to get it down pack. Okay, so anyway, I was talking to you. That's my husband's track first. I was talking about, you know, not being a Debbie Downer. This is not the topic of my Periscope or Facebook mentions tonight, but I wanted to share that with you because it was a real life experience, and I think a lot of people can learn from it. When you have something that happens to you that you're not excited about, and then you share it with everybody who can't do anything about the situation. You're whining and you're being a Debbie Downer. And if you're going to be a Debbie Downer, realize that you're giving that to someone else. And if you are in love with people, then you need to be aware of what you're giving them. And when you're giving them negative energy, it is so not cool. Okay, but let's talk about being sick and tired of being sick and tired. In my book, Quantum Leap, there's a section that I talk about, about getting out of the want to lane and getting into the got to lane. And I go over that in detail about how you got, move from the want to lane. I want to hit the stage. I want my name in lights. I want people to recognize what I've done. I want to have a bigger influence on people. But I haven't done it yet. Okay, so the other thing I want to tell you is that even if your year ends in December, or your year ends in June, you have a lot of time left to make something happen. A lot of time left to make something happen. Let me ask you something. I don't know about you, because maybe you are somebody who's always on the stage, and you are assisting other people to get onto the stage, which is exciting. But maybe you're listening because you haven't hit the stage, and you tried over here and didn't hit the stage. And then you try it over there, and you didn't hit the stage. Love the hearts. Thank you so much for the hearts. Thank you so much for the hearts. Okay, let's just say you're one of those people. Are you sick and tired of people handing you the camera and saying to you, Girl, can you take a picture of me while I come off the stage? Because they know you're not going to be on the stage. They assume you're not going to be on the stage. Every year you say you're going to be on the stage, but you never hit the stage. What about this one? I'm not going because I didn't deserve it. You go so you can find out more about it and you work like crazy so that you can get it because the things that you get from being on it is so important. Let me say this to you. It's not the stage that's the big deal. It's who you become in the process. You've got to get clear about that. Who you become in the process. That's what's so important and when you run for something you have energy you have creativity i don't know raise your hand raise your hand if you're sick and tired of being sick and tired okay so the second part of my line says if you're sick and tired of being sick and tired i'm inviting you to the big stage did you need an invitation maybe that's what it was i was thinking today maybe you needed an invitation to the big stage i hate to tell you it's not going to be by your mailbox. Mm -mm. It's not coming in your email. Nope. No. It's coming in your heart and it's coming in your head. And it's coming by yourself. Let me tell you something. I'm giving you an invitation tonight, but I want to tell you, nobody invites you into mid-management. Nobody invites you to be with the big guys. Nobody invites you. You <laughs> have to get there and then you get to be a part of the party. You have to get there, and then you are a part of the party. Let me tell you the story, because this is how important visualization is. Because some people get all caught up in the how, how, how am I going to do it, how am I going to do it. And there's some how to it, of course. There's some skill to it, of course. There is. And it, it, it takes more than a desire. 
You know how people say, I want this, I want that, but they don't book anybody. I want this, I want that, they don't have any new customers. I want this, I want that, they don't build a team. I want this, I want that, but they keep doing the same thing. I want this, I want that, they keep eating the same foods. I want this, I want that, they don't exercise. I want this, I want that, they hang around the wrong people. Over and over again. I'm just here to tell you. It takes more than desire, and when you're a leader, like we are, like some of the people on this call are leaders, you know, we listen to you because we want to listen to you. We want to hear. We dream of you changing your mind. But so much of the want to and not enough of the got to. Okay, so uh, it was my first and second year in business. And the big stage who was in Dallas. And it's hot. Hot. And it's in July. But I was thinking about the stage in October. I went to a retreat, and then we went shopping, and I saw a black velvet dress that was clearly calling my name. It clearly called my name. In October, I made the decision. I was going to, uh-oh, sorry, Periscopers, that I was going to hit the big stage. So, I bought the dress, and I hung it up in my closet and looked at me all year, and I knew exactly exactly that I was gonna wear that dress on stage made up my mind nothing was gonna take it from me nothing okay so it's July and it's hot ask me did I wear that black velvet dress on stage I certainly did <laughs> did I care that it was hot I certainly did not it was my dress it was the stage and I was gonna get there I really do with all the joking and laughter and humor, I want you to know how badly I want and so many of us want you to hit the big stage. It's not just we want a couple of you to. We aren't doing this because we want you to applaud for us. We're doing this because we want to applaud for you. I promise you, the best leaders in this world, although they get a lot of applause and a lot of recognition, they're excited mostly when they get to applaud for you, when they get to see you, oh, I would love to take your picture. I would love to be the one sitting there watching you. Okay, so I'm going to go to some of my notes here that I wrote out just for my people who are sick and tired of being in, sick and tired and needed an invitation to land it on the big stage. Okay, so I want to tell you that this will be uplifted to YouTube. You can check it out on my YouTube channel. You, you can subscribe. I got a call today from someone who said, oh my God, Gloria, I saw your Periscope from yesterday and it was on YouTube and they loved it. And so I was really, 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 really glad. Really, really glad. So that's exciting. Okay. So um, I wanted to say this to you. I wanted to say, ooh, I wanted to say this. I wanted to say that one of the most magical things you have, one of the most magical pieces of a machine to get you to the big stage is the deadlines. The de deadlines. Every month there's a deadline. Every quarter there's a deadline. I love the hearts. 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 There are quarterly deadlines. There's halfway deadlines. There are deadlines. Also, I want you to know, that every single contest that's put in front of you, it's not just for the little things you earn, but it causes focus in the right direction so that you can come out to be a winner. That's what you want to be, is a huge winner. That's what the big stage is about. Okay, so when you make the decision to do the big stage for the first time until this becomes a habit, and my dream for you is that your habit will always be on the stage, there will be fear. Frustration is misplaced expectation. And if you uh, think fear is not a part of it, uh, let me tell you a secret. It is. But those who learn to fight through their fear master this game called winning. Very important. I need you to know what makes you tick. I need you to know what makes you tick. If you don't know what makes you tick, I need you to ask yourself, why not? Why don't you pay enough attention to yourself to know what makes you tick? Do you love security? Do you love the race? Do you love the recognition? Do you, What is it that you value the most? Do you love the freedom and flexibility? You know, there's, I can go over those values um, at another time in another place. But do you know what makes you tick? I know what makes me tick. I love the race. I will always find a place for me to race. 
because it makes me better. And when I'm better, I'm better for my people. Do you understand this? This is so important that you get this. You need to know what makes you tick. Then you get need to know what makes your people tick. You know, yesterday I talked about um, a strong team. And of course you need to know what makes your people tick. But you have to know what makes you tick. When you know what makes you tick, it drives your passion. And when you're passionate, you become creative. And when you're out of passion, you don't quit it. Because you, we love what we do. We love what we do. So you never quit when you're out of passion. The problem is, is that you're just there. You know, you're just like there. You're not like doing it like there. Okay, so Facebook mentions is having some issues. And I don't know if they have me, but they're reconnecting. So I just want to let you know that. Okay, oh, there we are. We're back. Okay, so this is important. Okay, if you want to hit the big stage, number one, you need to know where you want to hit it. And then number two, you need to know what are the rules are to hitting it. And then if you're not sure, if you become like sidetracked, oh my God, I can't wait for you guys to hear my webinar. My introductory webinar. I'm so excited. Yes, yeah, so excited, so excited. Coming to you from Vegas. My introductory webinar. You can find out more about it on Charisma Factor. You can find out it on my Facebook page, Gloria Mayfield Banks page. On Facebook, you can find out about it. I'm so excited. We're going to be hitting you later. But the introductory, and it's talked about decreased di distractions to increase your income. Decreased distractions to increase your income. But here's something that I'm sure I will talk about that day. But if you... Know that you have a dream and you just can't seem to do what you're supposed to do every single day. Take a moment, a sheet of paper and an ink pen. Don't do it on your computer. It's something about the mechanisms. This is true. It's something about the mechanisms when you write. It goes right through your arm, up to your brain, and through your heart, all of that. 50 reasons why you should hit the goal. Or 50 benefits that will come to you for doing so. Okay, so sometimes I look at this phone and sometimes I look at that phone. Okay, 50 benefits. Because if you have 50 benefits, and I'm telling you, when you do this, and I've done it several times, you write, you can't think, you can't think, you can't, you're just struggling, struggling. Number 27, 27, 27, 28, 28, 28, 28. You know, you struggle, but you go away, you come back, God gives you more. You go away, you come back, he starts giving you more. You come up with 50 reasons. Why it's time the car is yours. 50 reasons why people should applaud you. 50 reasons why you need to be the one buying the gown. 50 reasons why you need to be a winner on the stage. 50 reasons why you need to be handling somebody else your camera and you not having it around. It'll, it'll turn things around. Okay, big question. Big question I teach all the time. Big, you ready? Big question I teach all the time. Who are you hanging around? Who are you hanging around? Now, remember... Everybody you hang around, everybody you hang around either takes you up or takes you down. Nobody keeps you the same. Nobody. So I'm just telling you, if you want to accept my invitation and hit the big stage, you're going to have to protect your heart. And the people who you're hanging around. I love the way you guys are putting my words in the in this feed. This is very exciting to me. Very exciting. Very exciting. Okay, so you got to choose who you're going to hang around. So you have to be able to look at someone and say, you know, your dreams are small. You're running small. You're moving slow. And I want to have a quantum leap. I want to have a quantum leap. I read Gloria's book, and I want to have a quantum leap. So you're going to have to learn how to say these words. I love you. I just can't hang around you right now. I'm going in a different direction. Do you know that in order to hit the big stage, you have to go into a different direction? You cannot go in the same direction and expect to end up at a different location. Yeah. Yeah. You know, let me just say this to you. Ask yourself, do I look like somebody? Am I carrying myself like somebody? Am I talking like somebody? Am I dressing like somebody that's going to hit the stage? That's going to provide a quantum leap for me? For my family, what? For me, for my family, my community, the name of my book is called Quantum Leaps. Quantum Leaps. If you go to GloriaMayfieldBanks.com, it'll take you there. GloriaMayfieldBanks.com. 
anyway, I want to ask you guys tomorrow. I mean, you got to prepare tonight. You got to go in there. Sometimes you got to go in that closet and get the best. Pull out some shoes. Pull out an outfit that's colorful. Go into the world with them saying, oh, <laughs> she is clearly getting ready to do something. It's got to be in your whole persona, you guys. I'm inviting you to the big stage. Ask yourself, do I want to accept the invitation? Do you know how lucky you are? Not everybody gets an invitation. Not everybody cares about it. It makes a difference. Heart, 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 heart. I love to see the different colors because the different colors mean different people are hitting hearts. Hitting hearts, hitting hearts, hitting hearts, hitting hearts, hitting hearts, hitting hearts. Hitting hearts. So I can't wait. Seriously, I want to promise you guys I cannot wait if you are not hitting the big stage and you want to know how you're going to decrease your distractions and when you decrease your distractions you're going to increase your income and it is going to be major okay this is the other thing I want you to know in order for you to feel good about hitting the stage listen to me carefully you're not going to divide the year into 12 months or six months that is not what you're going to do because you have to count on the power of momentum so you have to decide, what is it that I want to hit this month specifically? What do I need to do? What do I need to feel good about what I'm doing to get closer to the big stage? Oh, my gosh. When you are clear about what you're going to do, you are going more likely to hit it. Okay? You are more likely to hit it. The big stage. What do I need to accomplish this month? I'm looking at my notes to make sure that I hit everything. Yes. Yeah, everything. Okay, so just really quickly, does anybody have a quick question? Maybe I can read a one or two questions. I don't want to keep you on here a long time. Yes, the gold medal. Oh, man, that will totally make you feel like it. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I hear you. Red jacket, I hear you. I got you. I got you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, your 30 faces, the clear goal. Okay, you guys, do me a huge favor. I need for you guys to share this. Because it makes a difference. And I want to hear from you. I want to know from you what you'd like to hear from me on Periscope. Yeah. You know, I just want to hit you guys up. I want to make sure. I love the love. I really appreciate it. I want to be real with you. I want to have a conversation with you. I want you to hit it. But mostly, I want you to understand life is short. And if you're not having a good day on time, why are you living it? Have a good time. Stop stressing and don't be a Debbie Doubter. Don't give your bad press to other people to carry around your luggage for you. No one wants to carry your luggage for you, but you. Oh, yeah, I got on my workout clothes. Yeah, because I'm working it out. No question. It is. Oh, man, leadership is going to be off the chain. It's going to be off the chain. What are you going to do to hit the big stage, you guys? What are you? Lenita, I see you. I see you, Lenita. I do. I see you. I hope you guys share. I hope you guys think of what you can possibly do to make a difference for the people around you. I hope that you go tomorrow and you walk in the store and you buy yourself some flowers because you deserve it. You deserve your flowers. You deserve your joy. You deserve the big stage. Now, can I tell you this? It's going to take work. Yes, I see you said it. It is going to take work. But work is fun when you're passionate. And work is not fun when you're not passionate. You guys, take yourself to a place you've never been before. A place you've never been before. I love it. You're going to buy yourself some flowers. Yes, this is an invitation from Gloria Mayfield Banks. Hit the big stage. Join me on my webinar. You guys, join me on the webinar. I'm so excited. It's an introductory webinar, and it'll be available to you. Talk to you later. Bye.